What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today I'm going to spam you guys with even more uh, Secrets of Eternity news. And all these cards that were revealed, there's a lot of really interesting cards, so there's a lot of videos I want to make today on them. Uh, so hopefully you guys are enjoying all the all the videos. Anyway, uh, for this one, I want to talk about the new Charmer support cards. Yes, Charmers are actually getting some new cards. Uh, it's one of those archetypes, that I, the, one of the older archetypes I've seen a lot of requests for, and a lot of, you know, even like on comments and stuff on videos when I've asked you guys what archetypes do you want to see more support for, I've actually seen a lot of people asking uh, about this archetype to get some support and uh, they're actually got a few cards from this set so let's go ahead and talk about them today. The first card we have is a Jigobite. Yes, he's actually coming back again as a new card, and at least this one's a little easier to say. Anyway, it is a Water Reptile, level 4, 1,500 attack, 200 defense. Its effect is you can only control one Jigobite. If you control a spellcaster type monster, you can switch summon this card from your hand. When this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can switch summon one monster with 1,500 attack and 200 defense from your deck, except Jigobite. So first off, it's cool to see Jigobite actually back as a card. It's one of those older cards I remember using a long time ago, and it's just cool to see it come back. I love it when they do that uh, with uh, newer Yu-Gi-Oh cards, when you kind of see them come back with the effects and everything on older normal monsters. Anyway, this card is actually really good too. You can see how it's going to work well with Charmers because you have a Spellcaster type, so you can Special Summon it. So you go for an easy, you know, rank 4 monster if you wanted to, if, you know, on that. And uh, it's just easy to swarm the field in general. But uh, not only that, of course, when it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you can Special Summon one monster with 1,500 attack and 200 defense from the deck except himself. And the other spirits, you know, the Charmers use, I guess, are all going to be 1,500 attack, 200 defense because the Nefarious Archfiend Eater, which is the one that goes with the Earth Charmer, uh, it that's the stats for it. So I assume the other two, the Firefox like one and uh, what is it like, Petty Dragon? Was that the other one? I think that was right. I, th I think I'm trying to remember. It seems like it's been a long time since I've seen some of the Charmer cards, and uh, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool archetype. I like the way this is going. It looks like it will be, you know, like they're gonna swarm the field and go for easy rank fours and stuff. So not bad. And the other card we have to talk about today is Possession Release. It is a continuous trap card, and its effect is all Charmer monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. If a familiar possessed monster attacks an opponent's monster, it gains 800 attack during the damage step only. If a monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon from your deck in a face-up attack position or face-down defense position one spellcaster type monster with 1,500 defense that has a different attribute than the destroyed monster. You can only activate this effect of Possession Release once per turn. So this seems like another good card for uh, Charmers and Familiar Possessed, that kind of same thing I guess really. Uh, it's just a way to protect the Charmer monsters since they're kind of weaker, and also a way to give uh, Familiar Possessed a little bit of an attack boost, even though they already had some really good attacks, this will make them a lot stronger on that. And then also if one of them is uh, destroyed by a battle, card effect, or anything like that, then you can switch summon another one that is a different attribute in uh, attack position or face down defense. So it seems like it's a pretty good card for them, you only like to make this one per turn on that last part of the effect, but it's a great way to get all the charmers and familiar possessed that you need and uh it seems pretty cool i can't wait to try it out it's another one of those cards and uh you know that's coming out for an old archetype that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to test out like on Yu-Gi-Oh pro or something and it looks like a great new card for them i can't wait to see what else is in store for this archetype so what do you guys think about all this uh, new support coming out for old archetypes? Seems like a new theme that Konami's trying out, and I'm really enjoying it. I mean, we have a new Volcanic card that's helping out a lot in this set. Uh, I mean, we have Dragoonities, new Charmer, Familiar Possessed card like this. I mean, there's so many different things that have been coming out lately for old archetypes. I can't wait for something for Tombs. I mean, that's still something I'm, I'm hoping to see, and uh, I really think that's going to happen, actually, too. But yeah, let me know what you guys think on this, and what other archetypes you're hoping will get some new support. And also, if you would want to try out Charmers and Familiar Possessed, and maybe you played them back then and they hadn't really gotten any support in a long time. So does this make you want to uh, play them again? Or, you know, tell me what you guys think on that. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Have plenty of other cards to talk about from this set. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.